All right, good morning, everybody. So I recently got access to Dolly 3 within ChatGPT+. And I kept looking down here in the profile section. I kept going to my settings and beta features. And I thought it would show up in here and I'd have to turn it on kind of like the other ones. But no, I watched a video and it's actually up in this menu here. So when you hover over GPT-4 and you scroll down to Dolly 3, um, that's how you can access the image generator within ChatGPT+. So there's a problem I, that I've been working on for a long time, and that is uh, I've always had this idea is to create thumbnails with AI. Because creating thumbnails, if you're a YouTube channel, it's such a tedious process. I used to use uh, Adobe Photoshop. Now I go into Canva and I grab an image and then some text and yeah, et cetera, et cetera. To download it, upload it. It's a whole process, takes about 30 minutes each time. And I had this idea of what if you could get AI to create a thumbnail for you. But the problem is, and as you guys would know, all AI image generators, you can't create text. That's not a problem anymore with Dolly 3. So I have some notes here that I wanna talk about. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it out with Dolly 3. And we're gonna see if it's possible to create YouTube thumbnails uh, using this new AI image generator. So um, let's go into, I had, uh, I experimented a bit last night and I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So it is possible. So this is one of my videos I have, a start your own SaaS, and it created a couple thumbnails here. So I'm going to show you some of them. Like that's not bad, eh? SaaS, start your own SaaS. Um, this one's pretty decent too. Text here is a little weird here, that Globob SAS or SNAS, don't know what that is, but we're getting close. Here's another one here. Not bad, not bad. I could just do this. Yeah, so that was for one of my videos. I think that's pretty good for a first generation. Now we're gonna go down here and I tried to do a, one of Gotham Chess's videos. And I think these are a little better. Like, look at this one. Magnus, Magnus Carlsen versus The Difference. That's not quite what the video is about, but that's close. Look at this one, that's pretty cool. That's something that I would print out in frame. I like this one too. None of them look like Magnus Carlsen though. It looks like just some model there. And then uh, this is, looks like I don't know, black and white New York Times type of photo. But I don't know, all those are pretty cool to me. And I think I did it one more time, yeah. So this is another person's video. Um, Joshua Mayo had to make $1,009 per day with this automated side hustle and it created some of these. I think this one's perfect. Like this is the best generation I think so far. This is dead on. I know this is not the person in the video, but man, this is a clickable thumbnail. It's got the words there, easy hustle. I think that's perfect. Down here, that one's pretty good. This one's a little weird. I don't think I'd use that one. This one looks more like an icon, but yeah. So. Let's test again with uh, one of my videos and see what it sh shoots out. Then we're going to test with Mid Journey and we're going to see the difference between Dolly 3 and Mid Journey. So let's go to my channel here and let's pick something here. Let's try this one, how to make your own form web app. So I don't have a thumbnail on this right now in Bubble. So one of the problems that I've noticed is Sometimes it shoots out too much text, so I've been trying to tell it that there should only be a max of two or three words in the thumbnail. I'm still experimenting with the prompt. Hopefully I can nail it down, but uh, let's copy this. And let's do this here. How to make your own thumbnail. Maybe I should quote this. Okay, and we're gonna let that run. So how Dolly 3 works is once you uh, input the prompt for the image generator, it is going to use GPT-4 to make its own good prompt. Now if we look in some of these, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys, photo thumbnail showing a close-up of a laptop screen displaying a form web app interface with the bold text bubble.io form. So it kind of takes what you said and it turns it into a nice long GPT-4 prompt for better generation. So it just takes a minute here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom out, let's see what it comes up with. Okay, here are the four it shot out. This one's sick. Like, look at that, 
bubble.io form right on a laptop screen. That is insane. This is pretty good too. I don't know what DASP is and Forerun. That's a shame because this one would be pretty cool too. Um, bubble.io builds, not quite there. Easy form. Okay, that works too. So we got a couple here. That's pretty good. I love this first one. I'm actually probably going to use that first one. And the cool thing about DALI 3 is I can go down here and let me know if there's anything else you'd like. So let's say, um, can you change the second thumbnail to say form instead of foreign? So I haven't tried this yet. Let's see if it's good enough to recognize that this is the second thumbnail that it generated and it needs to change the text. Uh, so it's creating, hand dragging. So it f yeah, it looks like it is going after that one. So in the meantime, let's go over to Mid Journey. Let's take this exact same prompt and um, see if we can get something different. I don't know what that meant. Just click yes. Da -da -da. And let's give that a second. Let's go back to here. Let's see what it's created. Form, I don't, doesn't look like it changed anything. Let's see, forum app, forun, and dasp, dasp forum. That looks the exact same to me. It doesn't look like it changed anything. Even the background looks the same. So, I don't know, that doesn't seem to work. But I guess if you kept generating this over and over and over again, uh, you might get some different options. But okay, looks like Mid Journey's ready here. Yeah, see, look at this big difference, nothing. Oh, I forgot to do the aspect ratio, but um, look at this text, nothing here, nothing here. You'd have to replace this with your own text. And this one, I guess, kind of looks like one of those YouTube thumbnails, but nothing close. Um, yeah, so Dolly3 wins with YouTube thumbnails, that's for sure. So once the API becomes available for Dolly3, right now you can only use it within ChatGPT4, uh, I'm gonna make a free web app for you guys where you can input your YouTube title, just copy and paste your title, your video title in there and it will shoot out some thumbnails for you, it'll be completely free, so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Okay, thanks for watching guys.